Did your doctor ever tell you the antibiotics you took as a child or any time in your life for that matter? It could be causing the symptoms you're suffering with right now. Well, hello, I'm Dr. Christosik, and I'm here to tell you what your doctor won't tell you about the fallout from taking antibiotics, even if it was a long time ago. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying there's never a time for a need for antibiotics because they could be life-saving. Well, but if you're bloated and you have cramping and gas and constipation or diarrhea, and even symptoms like anxiety, depression, or fatigue, and maybe you're always getting sick, well, it could be because of the problems that are caused from the antibiotics you took a long time ago. Now, you might think that antibiotics you took several years ago, maybe they're forgotten and nothing to do with what's happening right now, the way you feel today. But what if I told you that taking antibiotics, the ones that you took in the past, could still be shaking your gut health, your immune system, and even your metabolism without you, even you or your doctor even thinking about the connection between the two. Well, let's dive into the hidden long-lasting effects of antibiotics. Actually, even just one single dose, a seven to 10 day course of antibiotics in childhood, or even during your adulthood, it could have grave health consequences for many years. But the good news is you can repair the damage from antibiotics did and restore your health. Well, let's start with what antibiotics really are doing. You know, most people know that antibiotics are prescribed to kill bacteria and even to prevent things that are could be dangerous, even life-threatening infections. But antibiotics don't just zero in on the bad bacteria that are making you sick. They also wipe out the beneficial bacteria in your gut at the same time. You see, the good bacteria that help you digest food, produce vitamins, keep your immune system strong, and even prevent anxiety and depression. Research studies show that some of these beneficial bacteria may never fully recover. Now, a study published in the medical journal called Nature found that after one single course, just one course of commonly prescribed antibiotics, some strains of the gut bacteria were lost permanently. In other words, the inside of your intestines, the home for the good bacteria is damaged by antibiotic in ways that can cause symptoms, diseases that can last for years, even a lifetime. So why does this matter? Well, your gut microbiome, the bacteria in your gut, it's not just for digestion. The bacteria in your gut constantly communicate with your immune system, your brain, and even your metabolism. And when the bacteria in your gut are not in balance, a condition called dysbiosis, well, when you have this, you're more likely to suffer with allergies, autoimmune diseases, obesity, type 2 diabetes, and even mood disorders like anxiety or depression. Now, don't panic, my friend. Antibiotics can save lives, and sometimes they're really necessary. But there is no question that they're overprescribed today by most doctors. And it's a wise thing to work with a natural doctor that can help you prevent infections, first of all, and then use safer natural alternatives in place of the antibiotics, especially if the problem is not life-threatening. I've helped many of my patients get through things that they thought they needed antibiotics for, but they were to help either themselves or their children that had maybe ear infections or bronchial infections that got over them within just a matter of days, just for the natural remedies that I prescribed. Now, it's really important to understand the long-term harm effects of over-prescribing antibiotics that, that they have on your body in the long run. In addition, you need to know how to reseed the good bacteria, the right probiotics to restore the lost bacteria. You see, research studies clearly show that chains of probiotics like bifidobacterium longum and lactobacillus raminosis, they're very effective in rebuilding a healthy gut the right balance of good and bad bacteria. Now, it's not just probiotics that are important. Prebiotics are really important. Well, that's the food that the healthy bacteria live on, especially fibers found in foods like asparagus and leeks and onion and Jerusalem artichokes and green bananas. Well, they act like a fertilizer for the healthy gut and they help the bacteria to grow and flourish. Think of your gut as a garden. And antibiotics are like a thunderstorm that knocks down the plants and kills them. 
and the prebiotics and the probiotics reseed and replant the beneficial bacteria. But timing is the key. Taking probiotics as soon as you finish a course of antibiotics is important. But even more importantly, it's making a daily habit of getting a variety of fiber-rich food combined with fermented foods that can significantly your gut health. Many of my patients who went through multiple courses of antibiotics in childhood, they noticed issues like frequent digestive upset and brain fog and, and even increased susceptibility to colds and allergies. But by rebuilding the microbiome gradually with primarily a plant-based diet, fermented foods like kimchi and yogurt or nato, or nano, and even specific strains of probiotics, well, they experience major improvements in digestion, their energy sort, and their immune function. And another surprising effect is antibiotic-induced resistance. Even if your gut gets better, some bacteria can carry genes that make them resistant to antibiotics in the future. And that's why many people have recurring infections and chronic low-grade inflammation because their doctors don't know how to restore their the natural drug-free way that I do with all my patients. So what's the takeaway? Well, don't fear the antibiotics you took back years ago. In the past, maybe you had to take them, but make sure you take action to restore the balance inside the gut. Focus on a diet rich in prebiotic fibers, fermented foods, and carefully chosen prebiotics and probiotics. Avoid unnecessary antibiotics and use natural remedies whenever possible. Well, let me help you accomplish these health initiatives by taking up a limited time offer, a reduced rate on my consultation with me. And remember, the bacteria inside your gut, the microbiome, is incredibly resilient, but it needs attention and the right plan to restore it, especially after years of abuse. And always remember, one day, your diet, your supplement can reverse years of unnecessary damage and optimize your health for the future. It's not about perfection, my friend. It's about small progress, small steps that build up over time. Start with one serving of fermented food per day and some fiber-rich vegetables and consider a probiotic that fits your needs over weeks and months. Your gut will thank you and your immune system will become stronger, your energy levels will soar, and your overall well-being will too. Well, my friend, I encourage you, take advantage of joining my Gut 91 prescription community because people just like you who can help you to be able to learn the habits, the lifestyle that will help you to live independently healthy for a lifetime. So until next time. Goodbye to illness and hello to wellness. So until then, here's to your health.